Hello everyone. This is the fifth lecture and today we will learn about arrays and loops. So arrays are ordered list of values which can be accessed by their indices. Here in this example, first index is storing the value VLSI, second index will be storing the value semiconductors, third index is storing the value electronics. So this is the consecutive list of indices which is accessed by their index name, index values. So this is how it is. The syntax will be set array name then index then value which is very similar to what we do in C but the way of writing the array declaration is different. So the syntax using this syntax we will create one array where the array name is institute and the index first index is 0 at which the value will be VLSI. Second index vac value is academy. Third index value is India. To print this array we will use put a statement. So put as then array name as a variable and the index value. This will give the first value. Why? Because 0th index is storing this. Second, first index is storing academy. Third index will be storing India. So output will look something like this. So this is the graphical representation of how our array is stored in actually in the TCL shell. Now this is how we will op uh, iterate over the array. Iterating over array is very similar what we do in C that is using the loops that here also we will use for loop. Now first we will define the array set institute of 0 VLSI first index will be storing academy Th second index is India after this we will loop how we will loop is first we will set the initial value of our index so here it is 0 we will store it as 0 after that we will say until this index reaches the array size of this array it should keep on looping and it should increment by 1 after every execution of loop and inside the loop we will print what is the body body says institute of first this is 0 index will be 0 why because initial value is 0 so institute of 0 it will be array value this array is a variable and inside that also 0 so this will refer to this value so institute of 0 colon VLSI will be printed in first statement then academy after every execution this will keep on incrementing so our output will look something like this institute of 0 because this is not variable but this is variable so this dollar will make the value to be printed so institute of 0 then VLSI institute of 1 academy this is how it will be after this associative array so associative array is something which we don't see usually in our C this is when this is used when our value is not a common in uh, commonly uh, consecutive array it is used when you have to access your array by their index name and corresponding value so this is something we call is at uh, call it as dictionary also why because key can be used for accessing this value we should be aware of what our indexes are then we can use it so this will be something like this let's say our database this is the key employee name so to uh, access this employee ID we should be aware of employee name so we should have an array which contains this employee name then we can access all employee IDs you can say that this is a key also for you how can we do this this is a dictionary where key value pair is accessed associative array are unordered set of values which can be accessed in corresponding keys and they have an index that is not necessarily number but it can be anything which is sparsely populated this is one example so employee name here name and age these are the two keys we should be aware of these two keys then we can correspondingly call this is the uh, name this is the age this is how it is now syntax of retrieving index how can we retrieve index what index we have on that array for that we have array names and then array name so this command will give what all indexes are present in that array with that help we can give all corresponding values you can say syntax of retrieving keys also so set employee this is our array and after that put test array names employee one this will give us all the keys present for that array that will be name and age here so output will be name and age after that for each loop for each loop is very useful for 
iterating over associative arrays this is how it will be this is the array creation now for each set index array ins array names institute so array names institute will give us what all are the indexes present in this array so here is it will be 0 1 2 so institute of 0 1 2 will be coming here and institute value will be coming here so this is very similar to what we have done in for loop also but here it is very easy why because we are using array names command this will give us easily all the indexes present and output will look something like this so this is how it is thank you